Hey guys, welcome to the very first episode of Ruby from Scratch. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up Ruby for development purposes. And I'm going to talk about the development environment that, you know, we should be using uh, to develop Ruby programs. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys how to, uh, you know, get this to work on Windows. Uh, and I have uh, my reasons which I'll explain later on so this video is going to be showing you how to do it on Ubuntu um, and it should work the same way on any other uh, Linux distribution it's not that different uh, the other video I'm gonna make another video which is gonna show you how to set up Ruby on a Mac so I'm running uh, Ubuntu in a VMware right now uh, but I'm not gonna go with Windows and uh, I've made that decision and here's why so I've run classes in here, you know, offline classes where people come and they take classes with me. And what's what I've found happen is the people who don't want to use Ubuntu or you, they don't want to use Mac, for whatever reason, they don't like Macs or they're not comfortable with Ubuntu. And they stuck with Windows. And during the process of learning Ruby and Rails, uh, they've fallen behind. Uh, and this is a, this is me experiencing firsthand. So it's not just like, you know, it's not just because I'm a Mac user and I hate Windows. I love Windows. You know, it's great for gaming and stuff like that. But, you know, for development, for really doing uh, this type of work, Windows is just not the right tool for the job. So if you're a Windows user and you are really serious about learning Ruby, I suggest you get a copy of Ubuntu. It's completely free download it from the Ubuntu website, get a VM up and running at least, and then you can just, you know, work with that. That will put you ahead of if you just use Windows. Now, I'm going to explain to you why Windows is the bad choice when it comes to this kind of thing, because a lot of tools that we use uh, is based on the terminal. And Windows just does not have a proper terminal. Like they just, you know, it just does not work. And a lot of the gems that we might be using are just incompatible with Windows. Um, you know, just because the gem makers, the people who develop those gems never tested with Windows. And uh, it just, as it turns out, slows you down. So if you're really serious about developing with Ruby and you want to learn Ruby programming, I highly recommend that you either use Ubuntu or you use a Mac. Um, you can use any Linux distribution. You don't have to use Ubuntu if you don't like Ubuntu, but no Windows, right? If that upsets you guys, well, tough. That's some, you know, bitter medicine for you guys. Um, I don't want to be wasting your time and my time. You know, you might be stuck on something and then you ask me a question and I'm like, I don't know, because I don't use Windows to do this sort of stuff, you know? Uh, use the right tool for the job. All right, with that little lecture out of the way, let's get started getting are Ubuntu prepared for our development purposes. So to get Ruby installed in Ubuntu, I found the best way is to use this uh, thing called Ruby install, this utility. Uh, so if you head over to GitHub, postmodern Ruby install, you'll be able to get it. Uh, so the way we install that, uh, we have to first install this tool in our Ubuntu. So I'm just gonna copy this if you go over down to the installation area. Uh, I'm just gonna copy this line here. So the first line, just copy it like that. Head over to the terminal, paste it in there just like that, hit enter, and it'll download that tool for us. And the next thing we need to do is just unzip it. We'll untar it, if you will. Uh, copy that, just paste it in. So now uh, I'm just gonna CD into Ruby install, just like that. So what we need to do now is just sudo make install. Very, very simple. So now we have Ruby install at our disposal. Uh, I'm just gonna type in Ruby hyphen install, and that's gonna list out all the Ruby installations that we have. I'm gonna just install the stable version. So I'm gonna do Ruby hyphen install, um, Ruby, and then stable. All right, so this will install Ruby in your home directory. So it's only gonna be available to this user. If you want to do a system-wide installation, you're going to need to use a sudo command uh, before the Ruby install, and that will install a system-wide, but then that requires you to mess around with permissions and all that stuff, and we're not going to get into that here. So I'll just let that install, and I'll come back to you guys in a bit. 
So I've got Ruby installed now, uh, but if I now try to type in Ruby-V into the terminal, it's gonna tell me that it doesn't know what the hell Ruby means. So what I need to do now is I need to add the Ruby's binaries into the path. So the way we do that is uh, if this is a fresh copy of Ubuntu you're installing, you wanna first install the Vim uh, package. So sudo app get install Vim. Uh, I've already done that, so I'm not gonna do that. And the reason we're gonna use a little bit of Vim to edit the bash RC profile. Uh, so the path we're gonna have to include in, in the in, into our bash RC file is this path here. Uh, I'm gonna highlight it over here. So this path needs to go into, we need to export the path. We need to add it to the, the system path. So I'm just gonna copy this, uh, this line over here and I'm gonna head over into the bash RC profile, profile. So vi bash RC. And here I'm just gonna add in very quickly, export path equals, and then I'm just gonna do a paste just like that, and then I'm gonna add bin, right? So we want the binaries in that directory, and I'm gonna add a path, so just it just adds all the other path in there as well. So that should set us up with Ruby. So I'm gonna rerun my bash RC profile, and I'm gonna do ruby-v, and now everything is working. So I've got 2.1.2 installed, and it's showing up right here. So let's try and install a gem. So gem install, bundler so this should work just fine without uh, you know modifying any permissions if you're getting any permission errors here uh, you need to set the right permissions on your directories right but if you follow my uh, instructions here you're not gonna have any issues um, all right guys so that's gonna sum it up for this video uh, hope to see you guys in the next episode and in the next video if you're gonna skip the Mac version of this installation you're gonna we're gonna be talking about the basic Ruby data types all right guys see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends and family. Uh, help us spread the word about Codemy, and uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you very much.